we'll just go to source and see what we should do or do you want to go into the moon first <laughs> just dare it <laughs> what's your opinion of the moon you was i don't think it's like it, people think it is well what i've thought about it recently it's, it's could be some kind of a reflection thing because if you look at it it looks like it's showing like um parts of the earth land on it it looks like it's almost like a reflection of it it's like i could see asia africa europe like you know like like land masses that look like earth so um do i think it's a planet I, I think it, yeah, I think it, I think it used to be a planet like Earth where it had vegetation on the top and because of the wars, um, and this is probably something I've heard too, not just something that I think in my own mind, but, but because of the wars back in, back in the way back whens, um, that it would just, the whole planet got destroyed. And so then it changed into a base. And so it's been used for viewing purposes and, and I, I feel like it's, it's a base at this a station, you know what I mean? Like a, an observation station. <laughs> what do you so, think, Ty? I, don't I, well, I, so in back in, can you guys hear me? Okay. Yeah. I can't tell not, okay, cool. Yeah. So like back in like March or so, I, um, I did some work with the moon and we were working on a, what would you call it? Like a, an overlay projection that was a door, just like it distorted the code um, of, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what that meant exactly, but that's what we were working on back then. So there were like negative ETs that were distorting the, uh, the, some kind of overlay projection for the moon matrix. And so that's what we were working on. As far as outside of that, I have no idea. And what do you think, Phil? Uh, I've always thought it's the, uh, it's the item that terraformed Earth to create Earth. It's the, it's the tools to make Earth inhabitable. Yeah. yeah. Do you get that? Right, because the moon has, the, has such a dynamic flux, um, field over Earth with the, the ebb and flow of the water and the waves and how the, all that moves. It's definitely a, an aspect of what we need for sure. So you're thinking like we might not have gravity if it wasn't for the moon? Uh, we wouldn't have a, a good Earth without the moon. Yeah. And, and the size of it is just, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. So there's been, um, because we talked about this earlier, there's been a lot of people mentioning when they're connecting to the moon that it's like a dis it's given them distorted programming for the feminine divine um and it's not just anybody there's there's some some really high level intuitives that are starting to like voice it um so when he's hearing a song all day called flying to the moon we, yep. me, and, me and ty were talking about this you know eventually we would connect on this and then all of a sudden it was just like let's do it today can you do it at this time and then so basically, I, I got home, created the invite, and once again gave everybody three minutes notice for the event. David, David, I was doing yeah, a three call. minutes, yeah, yeah, big notice there, buddy. <laughs> I was doing a call till seven past seven minutes past twelve. Oh, I, didn't, I, I didn't even get me drink. <laughs> I, I still uh, got, I still got me drink from the last call. <laughs> fantastic, Janine. What do you think about the moon? I have heard, I'm not sure, it may have been uh, somewhat, it was a collective um, not two months ago that said that the moon was made and was being used to mess with the feminine divine on the earth in the ebb and flow and um, the pull of the, you know, that moon cycle and that the earth would be fine and will be liberated from its clutches. I know that the, um, the, you know, the, oh, this, um, some 
every it's been released from in everyone's hands that were overrun overturning it by the you know the galactic federation of worlds but and i know that it's free now and not inhabited by the illuminati or any of that or the um the martians have it back we have it back but i i feel like you have something here because yeah i've been getting music all week and uh yeah there's too many coincidences so something's up yeah. miss davina angel what do you think i always don't feel like what you mentioned earlier about distortion i think something is you know it's not what we think about the moon that we always you know there's some something behind the thing that they try to influence the natural way of the rhythm but it's you know like more like artificial intelligence or something behind the thing that is you know try to mess up the nature that's how i feel yeah so a lot of time people kind of really kind of worship the moon I think you know we, we might need to think more about that and go with our own intuition than just follow you know the, the usually how we have done it before. Now we have to truly need to follow our own intuition instead of follow whatever that you know for years what people have been doing before. Not just follow you know whatever what people say and then just you know do it. We have to each have to follow how we feel. Because I, I don't think that's, you know, that's the real picture. There's a lot of things behind it. We just got to follow our own intuition. So I do think, now that I'm kind of seeing, that there may be, um, there may have been extraterrestrials that have been stealing the feminine energy that we might have to liberate um in that like we might have to follow the strands of light from the beginning of when that started and and call back the consciousness of on all the energy that was ever taken from people if, if they were using it really feel like that might be something that comes up um i'm thinking this at the intention that we'll connect with the moon only to liberate it not for it to influence us in any way and um, i do think we should start in the sun because especially after the session with lane who happens to be here with Callie taking the sun and the moon and turning it into a halo um and then venus kind of saying the same thing these venetians that that's probably the safest move going to the sun and then it's really going to the source of the sun and then shoot basically the source of the sun maybe over to the moon connect with it open it up but maybe a different guy from the in source i don't know but i think we should go there first and just sort of see I was just hearing the, you were mentioning Kelly with the sun and the moon as the halo. And I uh, just uh, telepathically heard my team saying uh, the reason for the sun and the moon being together like that is for the divine masculine and feminine. They're looking for that balance, just that, like the yin yang balance. So, um, so whatever, whatever that brings to it. Yeah. Hey, David. Yo, so uh, Tracy Stevens is actually in California to meet up with Amy to do a moon ritual. They're, no yep, and I think that's going to be happening like Wednesday, and they're going to be working on freeing um, these beings that are called like moon children that are stuck up there, and they're going to go and free them um, from the moon. So there's like what would be called moon children stuck up there, like getting their like energy siphoned, I assume. So there's some heavy work to be done on the moon. Yeah. Yeah. This is all for a reason that we're all doing this right now. Yeah. For sure. You know. 
Moon Children. It should be interesting. There was a time I connected with the moon, um, maybe um, two months ago, and I went in just sort of, sort of see, to try to understand it more. And um, the, the only way I can describe it, it just felt very feminine, erotic. Like it was just, just uh, the feminine energy at its um, complete freedom and without judgment and just doing anything and everything. Um, but I think that is because of all those eons of the, the divine feminine connecting with it. So I could see why ETs might be appealing to steal that energy because they might not get it. They might not get that energy on any of their planets. Uh, I don't know. Um, and if you've seen some of the ETs that I've seen, <laughs> You know, there. Um, I don't think that many divine feminines on Earth would get with them. <laughs> 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 so I don't know. I don't know what they're up to, but um, I think we should just try to see what happens. Liberate the liberate. Disconnect um, what needs to be disconnected. Give back what needs to be given back, and. Um, and realign what needs to be realigned, you know? And then we all know that Phil is <laughs> gonna go in there and uh, if, there's any, if there's any ships, there won't be <laughs> many ships after. <laughs> David, I always think the moon's like a big computer. I've always thought that. So it might be just set on a different level. It could be. It could be. I mean, and there's so much that is like a computer in this universe with codes. And but you got to give those ships forgiveness, even if they are evil. You got to give them forgiveness. Yeah. That's bottom line. Yeah. Starting out with love. It's true. It's true. Okay. All right. Well, let's connect and... Um, So we're just breathing some uh, golden light through our crown chakra. And then exhale it out our root, connect with Gaia. Breathe up green energy from Gaia through all of our chakras, connecting our pillar of light. We're gonna make a sacred space, almost like Stonehenge, but a pillars of light all around us. All the way into Gaia, shielded, complete, a complete pillar of light up to the sun, to the central sun. And this complete connection so that there can't be any disturbances. And if you want to call anybody in, um, you can call, call whoever you want to call in. Just gonna call in the Divine Mother on high, and the Divine Father on high, not the inverted, but the pure unconditional love uh, to be with us. And then we'll connect our hearts and our third eyes. All right, so we'll go up to the central sun. We got a clear connection right up our pillar of light. Connect our third eye, go into it. And then connect with the Ankh. Going into source. Oh, 
sending a higher selves and the divine mother on high here, bring her love around us to guide us the highest vibration of love and the least universal structure as to what to do. So, the Divine Mother is saying the same thing. Um, she's saying that we are seeing clearly and that there has been these beings who have been pulling this energy from um, the beginning um, for a long time, like sometime during or after Atlantis. And they need to be cleared they need to be cleared and, and they're ascending, they need to be cleared and, and then everything needs to be cleared. I'm just gonna see there's direction here, how to combine the sun and the all and the sun here. Do we wanna go in from the cosmic sun? The central sun, okay. So we are, we're, we're gonna do it from here. I keep getting an image of the moon being completely black. So I don't know what that represents exactly, but maybe dark side of the moon. Yeah, let's put some light onto it. Just to send it from the central sun before we even go connect with the moon. Let's, but she was saying to channel this energy through into the heart of the moon. Um, so it's gonna, we'll open up a portal right before the moon here. And we'll, we'll just start by sending this light from the central sun into the moon. Okay, so from here, we can, through the heart of the moon, as we're sending this energy into this, the moon, it's gonna open up the eye of the moon, to send this right into the heart. And it's also going to cleanse and redirect this light to all the ET ships in the past and the present that have been siphoning off energy here and we'll just clear them from here. And we'll forgive the consciousness of the ships, forgive them. They're grays, some of them are grays. Somebody holding onto the ships. Yeah, you just gotta let them go. I'm getting that we can um, ask other planets to assist with providing energy for this work. Planets and stars. Call on the stars. Call on the Venus, the Venetians. Pleiadians. Pleiadians, the Andromedans, the Turians. Fendorians. And the Lyrans. Machine Heart with the Galactic Collectives when they're serving for the highest good of humanity. They're showing me like these ETs are just like basically like they're like babies in the, they're not children or babies, but they're babies in like when they were basically born from source, essentially they're just 
just learning about energies or playing in things that they shouldn't have been playing in. Okay, it's time to break their programming. These crystals, anybody got a crystal? Um, yeah. Got it. They will merge our crystal energies together, our heart's energies. We'll just deepen our connection with source, bringing the energies to break the programming, break the distortions, break the connections of ET influence on the moon, clear that. And as we're doing that, we're just gonna follow the, the light strands to all the ships and we're gonna invoke the power of one to call back all consciousness and energy that was ever taken Call back, back to source, back to the creators, back to who it was, cleansed and cleared, restoring all consciousness in this universal structure that was stolen, sending it back. I'm hearing there's a hole in the bottom of the sea, which is weird. Is uh, maybe because of the water with the moon connection, maybe there's some kind of a portal there there's a portal yeah then the um, bermuda triangle goes right into inner earth as well as the north pole Back, give it back, give it back. Release, 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 release. Trying to shield, some of them are trying to shield their ships and not give away this back. There we go. We got dragons coming in now. Break their shields. Consciousness can be returned. Bring it back, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. Ana uirata i kirira uini a pakuiana i a chikuiana na he a takuiana ha ho i he he a chikiria maha he a kuiana na i ti a tai ra ta 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 Removing the positive and adding the negative. Your energies are assisting us with giving access to make these changes and do this work. Do this work. Purple Nemesis. Okay, okay. Turning, turning. Little pieces of consciousness coming back. Infinity portal. Infinity portal. Looking through all the time. The all the time. We're going to release it earlier too. Yeah. Open your hearts. Expand your hearts. 
and love. I think we're just, I'm just scanning all around the moon here just to make sure these, all these ships are in cooperation in all these dimensions, realities. It's, We got lots of help. The unit Earth Alliance are, are, are assisting us here. Yes, we've got multi 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 no, David, I've seen some spiral sort of tech on the moon. They are channeling. That's how they're getting the energy from it. That's how they're changing the energy. Yeah, I was thinking that we're about to go into the moon. Are you going to go on the moon and I'll go into it? Or yeah, it's, it's like a spiral sort of. It's like a spiral vortex sort of thing. <laughs> Needs taking down. Okay, let's just break that. <sighs> Connect our crystals together and just shoot. Um, Multi-dimensional, multi-dimensional, multi-dimensional. For your own personal power, connect in with your own multidimensional self, asking for your aspects to participate in this clearing. This is how you increase and amp your power. Good idea. I'll just connect all of our over slow groups together. All right. Like it goes like we've broken the vortex, but it looks like it goes um, into the moon too. Let's just close it. Seeing some moonwalkers right now. They look like ETs, but um, they don't. They look like they're coming out of this vortex. Uh, I think they were creating here. I'm just clearing them out. Oh yeah, they're messing around in there for sure. Release, 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 release. All you took. All timelines. Break down lightning rate. Break. Break down their tech.
so many of these moonwalkers there's so many of them they're all across the moon <sighs> i'm going to take this uh, vortex spiral energy converter down uh, uh, i've got a few dragons with me i'm getting a lot of uh bright emerald green color feel that might be your crystal working with you yeah. Holy smokes, you see that consciousness being released right now? I feel it. <laughs> wow. Okay, back to source. The way you took it from back to source combination. That's crazy. <laughs> The converter's just shut off. It's, I think, heading towards Earth now. <laughs> Can we get burnt out in there? In there. I'm trying to, I'm trying to. I'm just going to connect with the moon goddess here quickly now that it's safe. Oh, well, they want to tie in the source of the sun right now. Okay. Right from the cosmic sun, it's going to follow all this light, connect the heart of the sun, the heart of the moon. Become one. Central sun, no, it's a central sun connected to the moon. Bring in source into the moon. Dragons lead the charge. Sophia, Mother God, connect in with me. Use my source power. Bring it into the moon. Give you more clarity. Put your intentions together to connect with Mother. The feminine yes. energy of Sophia. Asking for source to bless this, to bless this united. Merging of the sun and the moon. Mm -hmm. 
connecting it again with divine love. Expanding your heart. Syra, the moon goddess. He's saying she is sovereign, but there has been some that have. And you're right, though. She's keeping over the earth. She's keeping over the earth. And there's lots. Also, the universe is not just the earth. Um, she doesn't hold judgment. She holds space, she says. Love to my beautiful daughter. Okay, so what were they doing to you with the abuse? any consciousness left in the moon commanded to come out of the moon including children of the moon including anything that could be trapped Sierra Syra 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 you are working in these higher realms continue to be grounded put your attention into your roots to the red of the, of the chakra and ground one more time please yeah do a grounding code too were you gonna say something there phil uh I, i'm just doing a bit of a battle there's a little battle going on but the machine I destroyed. Oh. Are you battling DDs right now? I don't know what they are. It's like a, it's like inside the earth from underneath the converter. There, there is a grid, uh, diamond points within this grid are put together for your use. And in the center is a dodecahedron. <laughs> 
Crystal Sorry, go ahead. No, sorry, this Buddha was just bringing in this love energy all around us right now. Because mm -hmm. um, we're in through the portal in the earth now and in the moon and in the central sun. And it's just like an, an ultra clearing right now that's going on. Good. And this, this dodecahedron uh, amplified within the uh, crystal grid that we did just for this mission. Um, is using mirrors to reflect back out so that Buddha love and all of the energies that we've been working with are being used with our crystals put together within this dodecahedron and then being amplified out and mirrored out. Holy smokes, there's so much energy around us. This is insane. Okay. Um, Phil, are, are you feeling like you're complete with that now? Yeah. Uh, some weird octopus sort of creatures in purple. Yeah. yeah. We, we, we're going up. We're going up now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we'll just go back our consciousness now to the central sun. We'll keep the, the connection between the sun and the moon open and connected fully. Let this come come back. And then we'll come out. There's I'm here, the cosmic I'm the battle is done. Yeah. Yeah. This is so much light. Holy smokes. Okay, so um we'll just um come back out of source of the central sun. And then we'll disconnect our third eye from the Ankh within the source. Just call back our consciousness now to our now moment. And then we'll disconnect our hearts and our third eyes. And we're just going to have to ground mm. for, for a minute there. Whew. Wow. That was, you see, during the Lionsgate, this whole light expanded in the universe. Mm -hmm. And just right now, we felt so much more light than, than we've probably ever felt because of this expansion. That was crazy amount of light. Crazy. Um, so it's interesting that we can tap into that now. Probably why we had to wait until this expansion before doing this mission. Just, um, so yeah, just if anybody's watching the replay, you know, breathe this light in, exhale it out your root, out the soles of your feet, and just really ground it into Gaia and just sit there and ground. Probably going to need to uh, go for a walk or something after. I know I'm going to go for a walk after this one. This was really powerful, this one. Uh, moonwalkers. I've seen a picture of them before. Now that I know what they are, I'm gonna see if I can find the picture. They look exactly like this. Uh, see if I can find it. They, they live. They're living in the moon. They're not grays. Um, See if I can get it somewhere in this dialogue here. It'd be great if I could show you this picture before. Before we end this live, if I can find this, it'd be amazing. It's in here somewhere. I just gotta find it.
Plus, we got a ground anyways. Man, what did you guys think of that? It felt longer than five minutes, though. <laughs> you going to be able to sleep after that, Phil? Yeah. The, the creatures I saw were like octopuses in purple, but I think they've been creative. I think they're an experiment they've done. I was seeing a funny one there. She looked like a... Uh... Like she had like a blue scaly look to her, like light, like light blue though. I think they were doing experiments on, on the moon. The, 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 con the converter was like a, like a circle spiraling around. Very, very strange. What did you think of that, Winnie? A lot of energy there or what? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's always very interesting for me because where sometimes they're sending me images, mostly they do not. So it's, it tends to be all like telepathically given to me and I'll hear what I'm supposed to be doing. And then I know that I'm doing it because I physically feel it coming through my body. So, um, so there was a lot of times when there was like light or energy. And when I was like saying the grids were being worked, my eyes just started watering. It was just like pushing water out of my body. It was making me you know tear up and then my legs were like shaking I had energy going through my through my legs and um so I get a very physical response when I'm when I'm working with energy and then and then of course afterwards once we disconnected and we went to go ground it was like boom it like hit me in my third eye like just like like a migraine it just it was like <laughs> so yeah definitely need to go ground after after oh, yeah. we wrap <laughs> that, was, that was a lot how about you janine did you did you see anything oh uh, i i called out everybody um my aspect of um newt got his newt yeah. she got in there and i was so hot i was spinning um virtually spinning my um giant merkaba um crystal and only until after we pulled out did I get cooler, but I was hot, like Kali Ra was going through me the whole time, but it was Goddess New, and she was all in, up in it, and at Commander Ashtar and Thorhan um, were asking, what the heck? They were looking at us like, what the hell are you guys doing here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, look, don't mess with me and my dragons. We got we we we're here to do something. It was very very hot. I mean, a lot of energy movement. Um, that was fun. Do you have a green dragon? An know? earth dragon. My I mean my my uh, rainbow dragon does earth work, fire work. Right? Kind of does everything. Oh, cool. I don't know about just green. I, I might get one. I might have one I don't know about. Yeah, I never called in my, I forgot to call in the dragons, but then all of a sudden there's this dra this big green dragon. Uh, yeah. But he had like these, uh, he did have some like rainbow strands and this like golden um, yeah. top part of his head. Yeah, well my D, yeah, my D gets ginormous when I do that, that galactic work and um, he does chameleon color like whatever's needed green would be healing the planet i guess so he might have gone green oh right yeah big cool. dragon though um, my, my dragons always come with me they're just they're there so i would expect the collective would be there automatically um and then i i just recently started working more with the silver dragon rock so Ooh, nice I have, the, I have Doman with me and I have got an aspect that's a dragon warrior dragon which I've connected recently. So, so what it. what was that device you destroyed, Phil? It was a, like a converter, an energy converter. That's probably what you can feel on there. Okay. It was, it was like a, a, I'd say like a brass goal. It's massive, obviously. Like a ball that's going in a spiral. That's all I can, uh, that's all I can see. So. Very strange. Part of it ended up 
cutting and going into a certain series so it might be a meteor hitting her tonight. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Mm. So Ty, what did you get out of all that? Oh boy, I was somewhere else. <laughs> I was just straight channeling the whole time. Super intense, so I was definitely like pushing through something for a while there. I don't know when when a last little bit of the battle was going on. I had some serious release of like a really emotion and rage and just a lot. I could feel like I was definitely purging a lot of like my role in it because I have some like vague memories of my role in helping to encode the overlay and to help with the siphoning at one point. So I was definitely, it was like a, it was a big, big thing on a personal end for me as well. Right. Yeah. Did you guys, when we were releasing that consciousness, did you guys like feel or see that just flying out of the moon and like all those ET ships and stuff like that? I don't know if Phil is focused more on the encoder thing. For me, it was just feeling, you know, I always feel like I'm, when I'm, whenever I'm doing work like that within the quantum field, I always feel like I'm like kind of in this like spiral, my own spiral, like within that field. So, yeah. Man, I'm like at March last year, I'm trying to find this picture. Mm. I don't want to look through this guy's Facebook page because I know it's on his Facebook page, but he posts every five minutes. <laughs> It'll take me longer than looking through this. I know I'm going to find it eventually because I know it's on here. <laughs> Davina, how did you how did you feel there? I definitely by Kwan Yin and you know the dragon and Phoenix, nice. and was focusing nice. on you know just like the, putting the spotlight and folk and try to let them you know reveal themselves so they can be transmuted and focus on the pure love and light. And, you know, that's an opportunity to, to be transformed and go back to the source. That's awesome. And I saw lots of like black dots, you know, flying out. Yeah, this is, you know, very good opportunity for them to. I might have an easier time like Googling. Yeah, like Googling. Thank you, everybody. I'm Googling ETs and why are buses coming up on my Google search? <laughs> what does buses have to do with ETs? Okay. Um, okay. I cannot win here. Um, let's go. Do we know, are, has anyone heard, are there any hybrids on the moon? Is that maybe the children you saw or is it, no? Um, I know they're all on Mars, a whole bunch. I didn't see children, but I feel more. Yeah, I, I didn't see children, but I made sure that if there was anything that was trapped in there to release it, I was conscious. But oh my God, I cannot believe this. This should not be this hard to find a picture. Yep. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna call them aliens then. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna go. You know, if, they're showing me like cars, cars, and. Really want to find it because I know as soon as I see the image, it's exactly what they look like. Oh, I'm gonna find it. I'm going to find it. You're like, you're like, find it, make it happen. <laughs> Absolutely, because it's uh, somebody once thought this that these were uh, kind of a Palladian, but I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, Oh, where they're little glowing ETs. Uh, they, they don't have a big glow. With them. 
Come on, man. It's got to be on here. I'll look for two more minutes. Uh, it's not coming up. What are you trying to find? Can we help? I'm trying to find like um, a glowing ET. Um, and I know. You know what? If you do a search on small glowing ETs, you get these weird little green ETs that show up <laughs> on a Google search, you know. <laughs> I know I started Googling ETs and then I, uh, I was getting like. Uh, but they're like, it's buses. almost like it's like a toy for like a glow in the dark ET, you know? It's funny. Yeah. Yeah. Those little green glow in the darks. I guess I'll look through his timelines. This is going to take forever because he posts so often. I've, I've actually found something similar to, to the ET, you know, the weird ETs on the moon. It's a jeweled octopus entity that someone picked out, but these were massive. So uh, these some on Google. Something just happened to my computer. I look all weird. <laughs> just, just all these different yeah. colors. You, so you, you've always looked like that, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> What, did I hit a setting or something? I don't know what's going on. It's so weird. <laughs> I know my computer is like. Or should I send this for the joke? <laughs> I might have to. Oh find gosh, it. you guys! There's so much energy coming at me right now. Yeah, just happening. grab, just grab. I know this was a, this was a lot. This was. I think we got a taste of the expansion of the universe on this one. It was. I haven't felt felt this much like residuals. They're saying residuals. You're feeling residuals. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. That was pretty powerful, man. So weird. All of a sudden, I go in gray and white. Did somebody change my computer settings? <laughs> nope. Uh, so strange. I got to find this because it's moonwalkers. Uh, it's a new one. I'll ask my friend um, who writes about the, the planet she's been to. I just described to her what I see in my night or what I hear. And um, she tells me what it is. So I'll ask her for a visual and um, she'll let me know. I can share it with you later. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's, it's I saw, just, and there's so many of them. Holy smokes! All throughout the planet, or whatever, all throughout the the moon, whatever it is. Um, I'm gonna go get with a tree. Yeah, I don't blame you. I'm going to do that right away, too. I'm, I'm just going to look for two more minutes, and then I'll find it. I'll find it later. So I know it's, Thank you, guys. It's, it's on yep, I agree. Here. David, thanks, David. Janine. Have you turned your computer on, by the way? Have I turned my computer on? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It is, um, I look like, a, like when you put on those 3D glasses, <laughs> you just look all funny. I'm really hoping I can find this image. I know it's on his Facebook page, like it's only a matter of time before I find it. But I was just hoping I didn't have to go through his whole Facebook page to find it. Oh my goodness. Do you remember what was in the post? Like any key, like keywords? Like did it say uh, more in it? Because you can oh, search, yeah, maybe the it's search, a, search at the top of their page. That's a good idea. Oh, I thought it was on his page. Okay, yeah, good idea. I'm gonna try to find his search button. All right. So. Inter it's not, 
level concho Michael Jackson that came up. <laughs> <laughs> It was a whole bunch of Michael Jacksons. <laughs> Honestly, that's my first thought when you said there's a bunch of moonwalkers. I was like, I'm not going to say anything. Maybe he was influenced. <laughs> um, I guess just to describe it, it, it would be like if you took a gray, shrunk its face down, and uh, made it give it like a white glow, and um, it's about a, like three feet, maybe four feet, like a gray would be, but like a shrunken head version that's white glowing, a little white glow over it. But it would make sense with all that white moon energy that they'd be glowing white too. Hmm. They were afraid. They're like, what's going on? What are you guys doing? Don't hurt us. <laughs> I'm like, don't worry. You're not hurting. You're going to hurt anyway. Uh. <laughs> what the heck are you guys doing? We're innocent. Are you, are you really innocent? It looked like you were up to something. <laughs> Spill the beans. What's going on in this moon? <laughs> All right, I guess that's uh, that's it. I guess. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I think that's mission accomplished based on um, my computer going back to 1960 and all that energy and stuff. Now you're giving weird feedback. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. Well, we'll see you guys later. Bye. Thanks, everybody. Bye. 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 Love Much love to you guys. Thank you.